What's up guys, it's Peter here. Got a small haul video. Um, a couple of things that I picked up last weekend through a friend. Uh, we met up last night and we swapped a couple of things that we owed each other. So, you know, it's always good when you get a nice uh, bulk of things that you've picked up. So, um, you know, I got a couple of items here that I'll share with you guys. But um, I'll start off with the Star Wars set. Um, I was surprised that when these actually became available last weekend, they were fully stocked and they're actually still stocked. So I don't know what the deal is. I thought with Star Wars, we were going to fly off the shelves or maybe they're just properly uh, stocked and they have enough for everybody. Uh, I'm not going to say that they're fully stocked um, to the point that you're guaranteed to find something, but you do enough searching around the city, you'll definitely find a set. But um, first car here is the Star Wars Darth Vader car. This is pretty sick. You know, Obviously, I couldn't get the Comic-Con version of this car, kind of overpriced. But this is as cool as you can get to owning that car. And I've seen the Star Wars set that they're going to come out with for Walmart, a Walmart exclusive. I think these cars are going to be a little bit um, a little bit better. I, I personally just like them. They're, they're a little bit more true to the characters. You got your R2-D2. It's car number two from the set. Pretty sick. I didn't mind paying the extra price, to be honest. I, these retail for $5.99 here. I think Walmart, when they eventually get them, will be about $4.94. But uh, I wanted to make sure I had them first, or at least got the full set. So, uh, yeah, I didn't mind paying the premium price on it, I guess you would call it. I uh, got the Luke Skywalker. Another cool casting. You can't really pick up from the detail here, but it's got, like, um, the hood. Not the hood, sorry, the roof has some kind of... Um, I guess marks on it, like some battle damage on it. So pretty cool. Next up is the Chewbacca. Nice, cool little truck here. And the last one uh, probably seems to be the, the one that's selling out the most. This is the one I found the least of, surprisingly, aside from the Darth Vader, of course, uh, is the Yoda. Nice little Yoda car right here. So that completes the set. Got it all in one shot. It's re really rare for me unless I crack open the case somewhere that I, I get a full set from the peg. So I was pretty uh, surprised to find it. Uh, pleasantly surprised. Um, so after that, I went on a little mission. Oh, sorry. There was one more car he got for me. It's the Pontiac Firebird from the Cool Classics. This thing is absolutely beast. I really, really want to crack it open. really want to crack it open because I do that with my Cool Classics. But before I do that, I want to make sure I get my hands on a second one because I would like to get one you know, to keep carded. Uh, this is just supreme. Look at that. Nice Spectra Frost Blue. You got your um, your Painted Eagle on the roof, on the hood. And you got your little uh, marker right there by the door. So this is really, really cool. Really cool. Um, you know, if there's anyone out there in my local area that does customization, I'll probably... Um, get this done get it done on a wheel swap this needs a wheel swap badly uh to make it absolutely perfect so i uh, got a couple of friends in mind that might do wheel swaps if i ever do that i'll show you guys uh then i went to my local dollar store uh, my dollar store doesn't normally um restock cars too frequently but they've been on a roll the last little bit and i ended up picking up just two matchbox vehicles there's a dodge charger pursuit i love me some cop cars so as soon as i saw this I had to pick them up my cop car collection is really growing. I don't collect, collect all cop cars. Uh, some of them are very fancy like, but cars like this, I will pick up for sure. Um, then I moved on to my local grocery store. And um, there's one on the pegs that I found. I, this is gonna be up for trade eventually because I already have one of these. I thought I was gonna wanna crack it, but I like the artwork anyway, so I'll probably keep it carded. And whoever I trade this with, I mean, they can decide if they wanna open it or keep it carded as well because the artwork is pretty cool on this one here so got the other uh highway hauler flintstones car uh what i did get that that's for me and this was actually through my brother-in-law he picked it up for me it's the scooby-doo that i was missing um actually i'm also missing the yogi and the anglia panel but i'm not really you know i wasn't really into those cartoons so i ended up picking the main four that i like which are the jetsons scooby-doo the flintstones and tom and jerry so uh, one set that I probably wouldn't mind completing, but you know, if it comes out through a trade or something, I'll, I'll get the Yogi. Um, I've got two more, two more things to show you. Uh, one, Mr. Uh, Z28, if you're watching, that's Adrian X on YouTube. 
You may not like this. Um, I'm going to have to crack this bad boy here. It's a Johnny Lightning. It's the 84 Pontiac Firebird. And, you know, I wanted to keep it carded. And the only reason I am going to crack this one here is if you take a look at the back here, the wheel is messed up. It needs some repair. See if you guys can see it there. You won't be able to see it on the camera, but the rubber came off the wheel. And being that it's Freedom Fridays, we're going to crack this bad boy open. So let's have a look. This is going to be a sick, sick piece anyways. So there we go. We're cracking it. Set it free. Woo. I showed you guys this one a little while ago. Oh, there we go. The wheel already came off. See it right there? I'm going to have to do a little fix on that. But look at that. Let me show you the good side with the wheel. The wheels are intact. Check that out. Oh, man. Do not regret cracking this at all. But don't worry, guys. You know me. When there's a car I really like, I try to keep a carded version of it. So I've got it right here. Good wheels, bad wheels, going in the loose collection. I'll see if I can fix it right now. If not, I won't waste too much of your time. No, it's going to need a... A little bit more time to, to fix. I don't know what's up with this, to be honest with you. Oh, there we go. Okay, it'll be a quick fix. Might just take a, a little bit more time than I thought. But I really just got to pop it back onto the rims. So I'll do that for a future time. But anyways, this is what it'll look like when it's all good and done. Check out that chrome, man. That thing's so, so sick. Anyways, good contribution to Freedom Fridays, that's for sure. And the last piece that I got, um, pretty much my main event for today. Oops, just dropped the wheel. I have to remember to look for that. Anyways, I'll look for that in a second. But the last piece I got was the Eagle Moss Batmobile, number 40. I've been wanting this one since they announced it back in uh, late July. And I went to pick it up. I'm going to dedicate a video one of these days. I've been meaning to do it to the Eagle Moss cars. Uh, you know, it seems like a lot of people don't know about him, and they're fantastic, fantastic pieces, man. Like, if you're a true Batman fan, comic book fan, these are, like, a must for your collection. So, the presentation, the detail, in case you guys don't know what it's all about, I'll show you guys right now. It's a subscription service that comes from the UK or something like that. Every car comes with this Automobilia uh, magazine, and it gives you complete insight on the car, like, when it first came out. Uh, where it was featured, you get your wicked blueprints that pretty much show you everything, everything that you need to know about the car. You know why the what why the creator chose its design and so on. So a really cool read. There's the whole um, spiel on the blueprint for it. So yeah, th th these are so totally, totally cool, and you know you always get the story of which movie it appeared in, the comic book it came in came out in. Um, if it was part of any crossover story, they'll tell you about that. And at the end, you always get your preview of what the next vehicle is going to be. So this is the Batman Returns uh, vehicle. Probably not going to get this one. Not too invested in that. I think I pretty much have all the ones I personally wanted. Um, but, you know, there's going to be 70 cars in the series. So maybe something else might catch my attention. I think this is my 11th or 12th vehicle. So there it is, guys. The Batman Tumbler. It's a 150 scale vehicle. Oops. Sorry, guys. It's a 150 scale vehicle. Comes in a wicked little case. This actually pops off. I'm going to pop it off later because um, it still stays intact in it. You know what? Let me just do it now. Forget it. I'll just do it right now. You probably see less glare, anyways. But this little base pops off. And you're left with just like the little uh, case, kind of like what you guys get with your M2 vehicles. There we go. There you have it, guys. This is the case it comes out in. Absolutely amazing detail on these cars. Eagle Moss does a fantastic job. You get your little diorama on the background. It's, three, it's um, like a hologram style. So very, very cool. And you got your cannon on the camouflage. This is the Bane Tumbler. And I've got the Black Tumbler. And I've got the 66 Batmobile. I, I, I could just go on. I've got a whole bunch of these. And these are just fantastic pieces to have in your collection. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, just wanted to share with you guys what I got this week. 
and I probably won't have a haul for a little while. I'm going to be going on vacation next week. Uh, end of next week, I'll be going to New York. So hopefully I'll pick up some stuff there. Um, if I buy anything, you know, on the weekend and stuff, I'll probably hold off because I don't think I'll be getting too much stuff. So hope you guys have a good week. Um, if you don't see me doing a video, probably because I'm on vacation. So I'll probably see you guys in about two weeks. Talk to you guys in the next one.